Sochi Pena with the Desert Water Agency here to talk about National Preparedness Month and it, it, preparedness for all kinds of natural disasters. And we have any number of them available to us here in California. Yes, yes. Any type of disaster you might encounter, you know, in your home, community, and here in the Coachella Valley, uh, a lot of people talk about earthquakes. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the San Andreas Fault. Um, Very close by. Yes. Um, you can go take tours of it <laughs> if you're adventurous. So talk about what the water agency is encouraging people to do in terms of being prepared. We are, we know that eventually there's going to be a large earthquake. Uh, wildfire danger is a constant threat. What are the things that people can do and, and how is the water agency encouraging preparedness? Um, well, you know, we encourage people to have um, uh, an emergency supply kit at home. Uh, FEMA and Red Cross recommend having a two weeks worth of water uh, in your home for such a disaster that might occur because, um, you know, if an earthquake were to happen, it could cut off access to water and other necessities for days. And some people think, uh, okay, our pool is a reservoir of water that's usable, but it's not. You don't want to drink your pool water. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. And uh, the rule of thumb is one gallon of water per person and pet per day. You can't forget about your pets. That's right. Yes. And, uh, you know. So that's a lot of water. I mean, in a oh. household of four for two weeks, so you've got 14 days. So you need 14 gallons per person and per pet. Uh, that is a lot of water. You're right. Um, but How do you store that? What's the, what is the, does the agency offer a best way to store that? And I know that sometimes if you buy bottled water, you have to change that out because the bottles deteriorate. Exactly. Uh, they recommend, you know, in a, a cool, dry place, obviously, uh, a place that isn't going to get too hot. I know a lot of people tend to uh, put their kits in the garage. Uh, problematic because most garages <laughs> get pretty hot around here. Uh, that's true. Um, but a place where uh, it's easy to get to and you know where it is, uh, that's always important. So that is a great deal of water. Now, if you're storing tap water, do you, how often do you have to change it out? I mean, this is emergency water. We have it sitting in some place. We keep it in, in safe containers, but we still have to replenish it from time to time. Exactly. And uh, just like you have to, uh, you know, other items that might be in your emergency kit as well, it doesn't last forever. Uh, this is something that you need to uh, monitor and, you know, replace every now and then. Uh, we keep a, our, our emergency kit isn't great, but it's it's a rudimentary one, but we, you know, we keep it, and I tend to change things out when I change the batteries and our smoke alarm, so once a year, twice a year, we try to do that. That's a great idea. So, gee, thank you very much. You can get more information. It is, we're wrapping up uh, Preparedness Month, dwa.org, 760-323-4971. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, we want to keep you guys prepared. We'll be back with more right here on News Channel 3. Angela